You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Here's a live look right now over Trinity County where the deep fire is burning. Still zero containment and a lot of smoke in that area. Cal Fire says in the last 48 hours, California has recorded over 4,000, uh, let me start over, 4,450 dry lightning strikes. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking conditions for us. Jason, I, you know, you've been talking about these lightning storms moving through the area. But even knowing that they're going to happen doesn't stop those fires from starting. What are we looking at next? Yeah, we've had, unfortunately, more than we've had for quite some time. Thankfully, this summer has been better than previous summers. But this morning was not a very comfortable morning to start the day. Look where our lows were. I wish these were our daytime highs, but you're not going to get that in August very often. But the lows in the valley because of the heat yesterday and the clouds that spread overhead were between 80 and 85 degrees. There was a lot of air conditioning going on. Even in the mountains, we had lows this morning in the 60s. So after that very warm boost, we were still above average today, but thankfully cooler than yesterday. It was still widespread triple digits around the valley, but it wasn't record breaking. And we had 80s and 90s for the higher terrain, which is where we have some very active weather. Showers and thunderstorms over Modoc County, Lassen County, extreme eastern Siskiyou County too. Now we have a lot of green over the valley, but not that much rain. This is actually ground clutter from the, the radar, but there are showers and thunderstorms over over extreme western Tehama as well as western Glen County right now. There's a slight chance for some of those to sneak out over the valley, but for the most part, we're going to have quieter weather overnight, and this is really good news. You can see how much clearer the sky is going to be by tomorrow morning. We're going to be at least 10 degrees cooler tomorrow than we were this morning, so much more comfortable sleeping weather. It's still going to be warm, warmer than average, but not in the 80s, which is really good news. We'll have some isolated showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon over the Lassen County area, also over our coastal ranges, but not as numerous as they have been. We'll have another round of showers and thunderstorms by Saturday. They will be more numerous, but they won't last very long. But we have other big changes coming. I've been telling you the last several days, here comes some tropical moisture. This will represent the remnants of what is currently Hurricane Hillary. Now, the vast majority of this storm is going to affect Southern California, Southern Nevada, and western Arizona. But there is the chance Monday and Tuesday for us to get a little bit of rain. It's not looking very heavy right now. I'm going to keep tracking the actual forecast path as we head into early next week. But we will have a chance for a little bit of rain and also more sunshine by about this time next week. I want to show you one of our seven-day forecast models. It doesn't bring very much rain for us all the way through Monday morning, but that's when the the remnants of what is currently Hurricane Hillary will start moving our way. And this particular model has started to back off a little bit. It's not bringing us very much. Most places less than a half an inch. The next half hour, I'm going to show you the other model, which still has a little bit more rain for us. We also have more short-term heat. Heat advisors continue through 11 o'clock tonight for the foothills, the valley, and the western half of Siskiyou County with temperatures obviously already in the triple digits. And because of those thunderstorms, we have another red flag warning out for Siskiyou and Modoc counties. That lasts until 11 o'clock tonight too. We've already had some lightning caused fires and we have the potential for a few more. So you'll notice the overnight lows in general about 10 degrees cooler than they were this morning. Mainly 50s for the mountains, 60s and 70s for the valley and foothills. Still pretty warm but more comfortable than it was this morning. And then tomorrow's highs will be a little bit cooler than average for the mountains, mainly mid to upper 80s, close to average for the valley, upper 80s and lower 90s, or upper 90s and lower 100s. Next seven days in Chico, we're going to have a chance for some showers Monday and Tuesday, but not much rain is going to fall. The temperatures will, though. They're going to go from the 90s to the 80s for a couple days. And for Reading, 100 degrees tomorrow, 98 Saturday. How about upper 80s, close to where the overnight lows were this morning around the valley with a chance for showers Monday and Tuesday, but we're not expecting very much rain here. All right. Thank you, Jason.